Hi there, in this video I'm gonna go through how to set up lighting for this game. If you want to try out this game or you want the Unity package of this game, there's links in description. I built this game with Bolt and there's tutorials on my channel about it if you want to check it out. When you first create a scene in Unity, your lighting looks something like this. For default lighting, the scene has just a directional light. So if you want to make a dark scene, you can just delete that directional light and as you can see it becomes dark right away but the background is still lit and that background is attached to the camera so if you go to the main camera we have the sky box turned on right now if we switch to solid color we can set the color to black and that makes our whole scene black for our tractor, we want to add two headlights and under lights, if you take a look, there are these options. But for the headlight, we're going to use a spotlight type. So we can add that in and this can be our right headlight. We can create another duplicate and uh, this one is going to be our left. To make it easier to control them, let's create an empty game object and let's call it lights. Put both of those headlights inside there. If we go back to our scene, we can't really see our scene and we can turn off the lighting preview to have a clearer picture of what we're doing. And now we can position those lights somewhere where we expect them to be. So somewhere in front. If we select one of the headlights, we can see that the lights are looking straight ahead and we want to rotate them a little bit downwards. So where our blue arrow is looking at, that's a little bit better. So if we look at here, now we can see that the light is starting to appear and both of those headlights are at the same spot. So let's move them apart closer to where the lights are on our tractor. Seems like 0.5 is gonna be good and a negative 0.5 for the other one. So something like that. If we turn the lights back on, now we can see the light right here. So the settings that we have for the spotlight is spot angle and that makes our light wider. And also we have the range and that's how far the light will travel. You can see that it dies off real fast. So if we want our light to travel further, we can increase that range. So let's set it to hundred and you can see that the light travels for longer. So you can do the same settings for the other one, zero and the angle, let's set it to 115. And this is how our headlights look right now. So let's check it out in the game. And that looks pretty good. Now, as you can see, we can't really tell that this is a tractor. So we'll need to add another light that will lit up the tractor. So for that, we can just go under our player and add another light. And let's use a point light. We'll position it in the back of the tractor, place it right here at the top so that the tractor will be lit up and you can see the change right away. So you can increase the range as well tweak the intensity to your liking. Click play. If you notice, the trees are not dropping shadows. And if you want shadows in your game, you will need to go to spotlight. And under shadow types, we have hard shadows and soft shadows. I'll just use the hard shadows. You can tweak the strength to make the shadows a little bit lighter. But since we have two lights and the lights are overlapping, the shadows are not gonna look that dark. But if you want to, you can always decrease the shadow. So there you go. That's how I made night lighting in my game. Here's my best score for this game. If you want to try and beat my high score, you can play this game in the browser and there's a link in description. And let me know what you get on it.